Now that the bugs have been properly removed, I'm going to showcase how to perform a rinseless car wash. Now, you might be wondering, Nick, you're in a garage. How are you going to wash the vehicle? Well, that's where a rinseless wash really shines. In previous episodes, I've showed you how to use a waterless wash, which is a spray and wipe solution, no water required. And I've also showed you a traditional wash method, which requires a bucket full of soapy water, a garden hose, a nozzle, and you have to be outside. A rinseless wash is a hybrid combination of the two. It requires a bucket of water and a specialized solution. It requires a sponge and a drying towel. However, what it does not require is a garden hose. So a rinseless wash is perfect for use during the winter months in the comfort of your garage or when it's too hot outside. If you live in Florida like I do, in the middle of July, it's simply too hot to wash your car outside. You can pull it in your garage and you can wash the car in your garage or if you live in an apartment complex or a city, state, or country where it's actually illegal to wash your car using a traditional method. So, moving forward, a rinseless wash, you have a bucket of solution. I like to use a detailing cart with my bucket in there. That way I'm not bending over 50 times while I wash the car. It saves my back. And then the special solution, it's a rinseless wash, and there's a lot of rinseless washes on the market. Some are better than others. I go for the better products because they simply perform superior to the less expensive offerings. And using it is simple. You add a couple ounces to your solution here, and then you take a grid insert, and what this will do is it stirs the solution, and it also traps dirt at the bottom of the bucket with these special fins so it's not reintroduced to your wash mitt as you wash the vehicle. So, I have my grid insert, you stir it up, and then there's also specialized sponges that are designed to be used with rinseless washes, and the difference is that they have these special cross-cut uh, grooves and slits that help trap dirt and contamination. And then optional, but totally worth it, is to use a bucket, um, or actually, excuse me, a spray bottle as a pre-soak solution for heavily soiled vehicles. So my Mustang's in pretty good shape overall. I don't let it get too dirty, but it's good practice to use a pre-soak to just wet the panel first to help loosen any stubborn dirt and debris. Take your container and dunk it into your bucket. And this is convenient because it already has the solution mixed up. And then there's a lot of spray bottles like this in the market, like I mentioned in the, in the bug removal video, but I like to use the higher quality ones simply because they last a lot longer. So take this guy and then I'm simply going to pump it up and I'm going to wet the panel and again, this helps to loosen any dirt and contamination, so I'm not grinding it across the paint. And this is especially helpful if you're washing a vehicle that's a little bit dirtier than I would normally prefer for this type of wash. After you do that, take your sponge, and you'll soak it in the solution. And this big gold sponge holds a ton of solution, and that's what you want. You want ample lubrication when you're actually washing the panel. And then simply glide it across the paint. You're not scrubbing hard, you're letting the sponge, the solution, and the pre-soak do the work for you. And what I like about the sponge a lot is that you have several sides to work from. So after washing this section, what I'll do is I'll flip it over. Now I have a clean section to wash the other part of the panel. And normally with the rinseless wash, you'll wash one panel at a time. A hood is considered two panels. If you're working in your garage, and if you're using a really high quality rinseless wash, you can get away with safely washing two panels at a time. But it's really important after a panel to take your sponge and dunk it and agitate it against that grid insert to remove the dirt and grime and also to reload with solution. And one of the other benefits of a rinseless wash is it saves you a ton of time versus a traditional wash. It's much quicker. So you can do it before date night or you can do it before going to a car show. And then afterwards, you'll dry the panel. And what I like to do is I like to use a spray wax for a drying aid. And what that does is it makes it easier to dry and it adds gloss along the way. Every time I work on my vehicle, when it comes to car care, I'm always trying to add protection. That's the thing you'll notice with all my videos. So if I'm going to wash the vehicle, I want to add some protection afterwards because it increases the gloss, increases the slickness. And I'm a car guy myself. So I love shiny paint. I don't like dull paint. 
and it also helps preserve my paint job because to have a vehicle repainted properly, you're looking at several thousand dollars at the least. And then take your spray wax. I like to use a fast wax product because it doesn't streak or smear and it's really easy to wipe off. Um, the, the quality of spray waxes varies and basically the difference between a top shelf spray wax and the entry level spray wax is that the entry level product typically has a lot more water, so that's the difference. And it's that simple. You can clean and shine your vehicle in a matter of minutes using a rinseless wash. The advantage is that you can wash your vehicle in the comfort of your garage, or again, if you live in an apartment complex, you can do it in the parking lot or at a car show. If you detail for a living, if you're a mobile detailer, you can visit your clients, and if they don't have access to a hose, that's perfectly fine. So before we do the next part, which is cleaning the specialized upholstery of my Mustang, I'm going to wash the rest of the vehicle. So I'm going to get to work.